And we're back. We're finally in Splinter's Manufacturing. The last stage of our big long Splinter arc. Cool camera angles. You're on a roll now! Now force that fucking CEO to donate the profits to the Lulu Fund, rescue those scrubs, and get the cluck out of here! Alright, so this level is, um, kind of unique for the wrong reason in that it actually does have some uh, tag team co-op buddy action between Abe and Munch. And it's really simple stuff too. Mostly just keeping doors open, Munch having to get rid of these slicks here. We haven't been using his uh, zapping abilities for a while, so you know, that's good. Something to know is that like near the end of the game there's going to be a lot more of this kind of co-op gameplay. It's almost like the developers realized by the time they are finishing, well, oh, we, we're not making Munch and Abe do enough stuff together. Now we're just going to cram all this other stuff in. And it's fine, too. I mean, it's nothing too obtrusive, just, well, you know, it's kind of what the, one of the main selling points of the game. By the way, here's another one of those walls I've complained about. Where it's just a bunch of scrubs behind uh, an exploded explosion wall. Still very inefficient. Now, another thing about this level to note is that um, when this game was being hyped up, especially during the uh, PS2 time, like when it was slated for release in PS2, there were all these trailers that like had levels that looked like this level. Like maybe it was this level, but now the level's just a bit different. But, you know, it, it looked a lot like this type of uh, level with the uh, windows and everything. And it showed off a lot of um, stuff that didn't make it into the game. Like, uh, stuff that was, like, hiding in the shadows, like you would in the uh, 2D games. You, there was some sort of sh hiding in the shadows system, and that obviously didn't work here, because stealth is completely just not an option in this game. No being stealthy here. Unless I'm doing it wrong. And uh, there's also another thing where you could grab a slig and throw him out a window, thus killing him. The uh, grabbing a slig option stayed, but not the uh, throwing him out of the window. Oh, this is dumb. I could totally run through this door, but it won't let me. Come on. Abe won't get squished or anything, he's pretty flexible. Alright, so that finishes that somewhat dull part of the level. Just a bunch of copying. We're gonna have some fun now with possession. This is actually the only place where you could uh, chant without getting zapped, so. They even put in that camera angle there just to identify it. Hey, like, do it here. Alright, so this big bro Slig, you may notice that he does not have a gun with him. He is completely barehanded. And, uh, well, we got these things to fix it. Blitz Packer Vendo Machines. See, he can just kind of wave his arm around weakly. Sure, it does some damage, but that's not really efficient. So yeah, it's like a vending machine, but for slicks, and you get a gun. You can see on the Blitz Packer uh, vending picture, you can see the uh, Soulstorm brew cans he's using. And this whole next part is just what feels like an endless stream of slicks trying to kill you. Really, it feels endless. And it's like 40 slicks on this floor alone. That's a lot of slicks. That's like more than. That's like more slicks you kill than in Abe's Odyssey. The whole game. It's important that you check your karma sometimes, or else you might uh, accidentally blow up a, a scrub and uh, you might have to restart. It's important to quick save too. So, yeah, it seems like this feels endless, and that's kind of a issue with this part. There are these slig spawners you could see. Slig's falling out of with the little red uh, dots sticking out. You know, it gives you the idea that you're supposed to be doing something like this is some sort of puzzle, but no, it's just it's just a lot of slicks that you have to kill.
Not much else you could say about it, really. I would uh, like to point out, since we are in control of Big Bro Slick right now, you uh, may notice on the Big Bro Slick model, it has like these Sam Fisher, like, goggle things. These are actually not where their eyes are. And uh, as a matter of fact, it's actually an attachment to their uh, original mask. Their, their like, real mask is pretty very much like a regular Slick's, but for some reason they got these uh, Sam Fisher goggles going on. And uh, I didn't really notice that until I took a bit of a better look at the uh, concept art for Big Bro Slakes in the art book. It's kind of, you know, just something to point out. There's not a model in the game that has the Big Bros without the goggles, so I guess it's just to have them look cool. Not like they do in the game. Besides the cool. So, okay, that's all the Slakes here. We're done. We're just. It's good to do a uh, cleanup, make sure you didn't miss anyone. Even one slig could completely destroy your uh, process of gathering up scrubs. There's the scrubs in the little nook and cranny over there. Really odd placement. Yeah, looks like we're good. Yep. Alright, if we pull that lever, we have to call security, which would spawn another Big Bro Slig, and we don't need that yet. So, right now, just a good idea to gather up the scrubs. And uh, while we're doing that, I'd like to comment on the uh, design of the level. It really feels like the, uh, the level designers are trying to get a bit of a ruptured farms feel here, because it all feels really alive. I mean, you got like these pistols pumping and a bunch of gears or whatever just doing their own thing. Might notice some minecarts passing by. And um, it fulfills this to an extent, but the fact that there's sunlight coming in and it's not dark and dreary like Rupture Farms was kind of ruins the illusion. But I like it. I still like it. I actually like the sunlight coming through. It kind of gives this whole sense of dusk setting in or something. I don't know. I like it. There's my buddy. See, we got the minecarts here. These are full of toothpicks, because remember, Splinters is a toothpick factory. You can see a little machine. No, oh, the camera's not doing anything too well. Hang on. Come on. I should all die. There's a little pump there that pumps toothpicks into the uh, minecarts. That's a lot of toothpicks, by the way. I mean, minecart full of toothpicks. That's like... So many boxes of toothpicks, that'll last you a lifetime. Let's make toothpick bridges. That's what Slicks do in their spare time. Alright, so very important, once you open both these doors, you want to get these scrubs away from that door, because there are two sleeping Slicks in that room ahead, and it's very irritating to leave them there, have the Slicks wake up, and then start wailing on the scrubs just standing there. Very irritating, very annoying. And that's why you want to call security again. As you can see, uh, you can just take care of him a lot easier that way. In retrospect, I probably should have showed off what would be like if a big bro went into a fist fight with just some regular slakes just for comedic value, but a bit too late for that. No big deal. I'm just kind of tough with these guys. There's only two of them. Bam. 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 Course. We're gonna need some more spoos for possession. I mean, there is spoos up at the top floor, but you know, regrowing spoos, farming spoos is not a fun thing. Now we can go on our way to uh, 
Actually, no, we're not gonna. There's not all the scrubs uh, saved yet. As a matter of fact, this level for me is very annoying because there are actually two scrubs in this room that I have not gotten yet. There's five here. There's three in the next big room. Also, you can't use the blitz packers, Abe. Just gives you a big no because Abe can't use guns. Slicks can use guns, but not Abe. That'd be dumb. Munch can't use guns either. That'd be even more silly. Anyway, this level. It's infamous for me because there's a very well hidden scrub in uh, the corner of this huge room here. There's there's two I said there's two scrubs I missed, but one of them was just because I'm dumb. But really, that one scrub I do miss. Very annoying. Really, I'm pretty sure he gets a lot of people lost. <laughs> This is cute. It's voice authorization, just like in the old games. But since you can't really choose what the Slick says when you possess him in this game, they can't have like some sort of mimicry puzzle going on. So you just kind of talk to him. That's fine. I mean, like, you know, okay. So guess what's gonna happen here? This this is these uh this group of slates is act are actually interesting because uh if you leave a popper and a bouncer alive and you do some weird stuff with them, you could actually have them the popper slate, the one with the gun, access the Glucken office and like be right next to a Glucken, shoot a Glucken, or have a Glucken walk up to the Slig and you know, you could have the Slig kill the Glucken. And I, I'm not sure if that ruins your game or not, but I'm, if it'll say anything, but you definitely will have to restart the level if the luck and that is, you know, money. Yeah, just another fun fact. I haven't done it myself because it requires some weird glitching, pre precision glitching that I particularly don't enjoy. So, speaking of things I don't enjoy, this little dark hallway right here, it's actually a lot brighter on here than it is on the TV. On the TV, it's just a murder on your eyes, because you have to strain and see what's going on. You just call security in case you ever need it. Okay, speaking of things I don't like, scrubs surrounded by mines. I don't like this, because I'm not good with throwing. I'm, I, I'll be the first to admit it that with the uh, awful throwing this game has, and what little space you have to move in around these mind circles. I've, I've messed up a lot here. That's why I quick saved. Also really strange is, there is a row of free mines over there with a bird portal behind it, but you can't throw a scrub far enough to have it reach beyond like the pile of mines. It'll just blow up. But there's still a bird portal there, like they expect you to use it, but how are you supposed to get anything there? And it, it's like a it's like a red heron, because I thought that, oh, maybe the scrub I'm missing is somewhere over there, but he's not. He's really not. We're actually going to go get that scrub now. That's what I dread. You'll actually only get me one, get one scrub even though I need two, because the other one is just, in a, was just hiding behind like a... Explosive crate, no, it's still not good. Not nothing interesting to see. <laughs> that wasn't a jump cut, I swear. So, uh, guess where this guy is. See if you can guess. Because, really, it's pretty clever, actually. No lie. But, uh. We pause it. How are you supposed to figure this out? I mean, I got this completely by luck, but I'm, I'm giving this guy a couple of smacks because he deserves it for somehow getting up here. How do you, does this, how does this scrub get up here? He's, there's no crane. Is there like a, a, a well or something? Did he, did he hide? Is he hiding? Oh no. At least I saved him, and uh, that's the last scrub for the stage to save. We can go on and finally possess the executive 
the big kahuna of Splinter's manufacturing and shut it down. Something I've been thinking about. Uh, if you're wondering, like, what is equivalent to an executive, to a Gluckin we've already met, or Abe has already met in the past two game, games, excuse me. An executive would be, like, General Drippick or Vice President Aslick of uh, Abe's Exodus. Or even, well, like, the Gluckin in, of Rupture Farm of Rupture Farms in uh, Abe's Odyssey. But that begs the question of what makes you be a Gluckstar? Because cause Gl Moloch in the first game was like the top of the top, but he wasn't a Gluckstar. It, it's never really like defined what Gluckstars should be, except they have a lot of money. And this executive right here has some cool things. There's an Oddworld Inhabitants logo on the table, which is always nice to have. And in the background is a skybox. I think it's a skybox. Showing off all of Nomad's land. And I think that's really cool. Skybox showing off Nomad's land. It's a pretty accurate design of the level. You could see the little river there with the mines that Munch jumped through. So this guy could see everything we were doing while infiltrating. That's gotta be stressful. Even more stressful is losing all your money. I said losing all your money. I spent way too much time gawking at this. Excuse me. One hundred thousand mula. Let's do it. So yeah, as I'm saying, I I have I'm actually thinking that for a Gluckin to be a Gluck star, he wants to be like Mullock could have been a Gluck star if he wanted to, but he's too cool to be all flashy and shit. So he just decided to be an executive. A very scary looking executive. And look, look at that congratulations. That is not the same Gluckin we just bankrupted. That Gluckin had a blue suit, this one has a red suit. Come on. Come on. Killing me. And that's it, we're done with splinters. We're finished, and uh. We only have one more big factory to bankrupt before going to Viker's Labs. It's not going to be easy, but, you know, it's very fun. A lot more fun than Splinters, I'll tell you that much. Until next time, I'm Mitrixer, I'll see you later.